Hi guys, so today I have September's monthly makeup bag and like my project pan updates for a product I started like a project pan with. So I will get started and I'll show you guys the products I picked for the month of September and my progress on some products I've been working on and I'll get into it. So the first thing I have is my Victoria's Secret Pink Blackberry and Peony Body Mist. And I've made more progress on this. I started this in the spring. This time I actually made a line. So I know I haven't been marking my progress, but I put a line here for the month of... Well, now this will be the month of September. I just wrote August. So I've been making a lot of progress. There's not that much left. I think probably by the end of the year this will be gone. So then I'll be done with this by then. And I am getting a little tired of it, so... I'll admit I am ready to move on from this product soon and there's not that much left, I mean there's like that much left. So I used three quarters of it basically, so I'm happy with my progress on this. Then I made a little bit of progress on my fragrance sample I chose the past few months, which is the Dulce & Cabana Light Blue and I feel like it's because it's a dabber, like if I put another line I just made a mark there. I only made like a teensy bit of progress. I used this a couple times, but the dabber style, I feel like it doesn't really look like you use that much product. So you have to like sit there and you have to keep pulling this out and putting it on. So I just don't like the way this applies, but I do want to get through this and some of my other perfume samples that I have. Then next, I have my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. And this I've been using the past couple months and I really like it, so I'm continuing to use this. And I have my NYX Liquid Illuminator, and I feel like I used about half of this so far. You can see I've used a decent amount, and I've been using it here and there. Like, I'll use it like on my chest, I'll use it like in just random places just to get through it because I have a tan right now, so I feel like I could use this on my skin tone right now, but any other time of the year. I can't really use it, so I want to try to use this up and just get through it because it's too dark of an illuminator for me, I feel like, the other parts of the year. <laughs> so this I do want to mark, but I'm like up to here. So I started using this maybe a month or two ago, but I do want to get make more progress on this. Then for my mascara, I have this sample of the Balm Mad Lash, and I started using this last month, so I'm going to continue using this sample. And I have my eyeshadow palettes. Normally what I do is like one week one palette. And I normally I would choose like an all matte palette, but I decided that I wanted to pan my <laughs> chocolate chip palette by Too Faced. And as you can see on Semi Sweet, I was thrilled last month because I finally hit pan. And I've been working on hitting pan on this shade for a while. So I hit pan on this. I'm thrilled because I feel like I made so much progress and I was just like, yes, I hit pan. So I hit pan on that. I've been using these two in my crease. I've been using this as like a base color. And I do want to try to use the darker colors a little more too, but I do want to try to pan more of this palette. So I want to maybe try to use this till the end of the year possibly and see how much progress I can make on this. But this has like become like a little project that I'm just like, I want to finish some more and hit pan on more shadows. <laughs> so I figured this is like a tiny palette, so it makes it a little easy to do that. It's like a good starter palette. Then I chose a bronzer, but I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow because I just don't really like this as a bronzer. This is a Hikari Radiant Shimmer Bronzer. I got this in an Ipsy bag and I just don't really use it, so that's why I put this in there I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow and next I decided to choose for a one week one palette my wet and wild comfort zone palette I just felt like pulling this out again so I chose this for another week this one's basically for like the whole month and then the other I figured I'd use this with other palettes because it has all matte colors in it so I'll use this one week then the Hakari little bronzer the eyeshadow another week then I pulled out my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette as like my high-end palette for the month. So normally I choose one high-end palette for one week one palette. 
and I only used this a couple times. I used it in one week one palette once before, but I do want to use this for the fall because I feel like these are beautiful colors to use in the fall. So I do want to use this more. So I'm going to put this for another week. And I chose for my last eyeshadow for one week one palette, this Elsa Elf beauty book. So I chose this. And I pulled this out, I think, in the spring, so I want to use it again now that we're going to the fall. But, oh, oh my product just fell out. But it has two eyeliners. It has a regular black eyeliner. It has a little lip gloss, which is like a hot pink color. It actually says hot pink there. It has a shimmering type of eyeliner. It has a highlighter. And then it has some eyeshadows. I got mad and I scraped out this purple because it just wouldn't work for me. So that's why that there's no shadow in there. But I do want to use these shadows up here and it has a brush. And I believe they don't make this anymore. This was like a Walgreens exclusive. Then my bronzer for the month. I chose my sample of my Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And I have like a little dip going in it. I haven't used it as often recently, but I feel like since I'm tan, that this like almost matches my skin tone now. <laughs> like it's not as bronzy as it is other parts of the year. So this is my bronzer for the month. Then I have my Elf Tone Correcting Powder, which I made more progress on from the past couple months since I've been working on this all year. And as you can see, I put more tan. The yellow is like almost all gone. So soon I'm only gonna have the pink and the green left. So, I feel like the yellow is definitely going to be gone within another couple of months. <laughs> but the blue is gone. That's my progress in that. Then for my blush, I chose this e.l.f. duo. It's a contour and blush duo in Fiji. And it's a matte type of duo. So it's Fiji and there's like a bronzer. And then I chose the City Color Blush Trio. And it has the color Fresh Melon, Blackberry, and Guava. So I'm going to use this as my blush also, so I have like four shade selections to choose from. Then for my highlighter, I chose the City Color Highlight Trio that I have. And this has three colors, and it has a gold, a white, and a pink. I want to use like maybe the gold and the white this time of year. Then for, I use like a BB cream. I've been using the Too Faced Beauty Balm the past couple months, and I've made progress on it. As you can see, there's not really, like it's maybe like half. The product left but this is like a good shade for me this time of year and I know the other time of the year like any other time of the year this wouldn't be a good shade match so it matches me perfectly right now so I want to try to use this up and this I feel like I spent the money on it so I want to use it up I mean I got it on sale last year but at the same time I still paid like $15 and this is like a $30 BB cream which I feel like I wouldn't buy again so I want to get my money's worth and use this up and I do want to mark this as well, like I want to make a permanent marker line just so I can see the progress monthly. Then for my single eyeshadows, I chose two. I chose this e.l.f. Baked Single Eyeshadow in Bark. And it's like a nice brown color. There it is there. And then I chose a Milani Single in Bella Pink. It's like a really light pink color. There it is there. But those are the two eyeshadow singles I chose for this month. Then moving on to eyeliners, I chose four. I chose this one, this Arrow Brightening Eyeliner. I feel like this doesn't sharpen very well, so I feel like this is like a product I could get through very quickly. But I do like the pink and how like it brightens your eyes. But that's it there. Then I chose this Jessie's Girl Eyeliner in Frosted Blue. And it's like a light blue color. Then I chose two ColourPop gel eyeliners. I chose Zulu, which is like a pretty light green type of color. Which is there. And then I chose Vaseline which is like a dark, almost like a teal type of color, or green, which is right there. So last I have lip products. 
And I've made more progress on my Too Faced La Creme Naked Dolly sample. Because every month I've been trying to, the past couple months I've been trying to work on this. You can see the lines appears the first month, there's the second month, and then you'll closely see the third month, like right below it. I feel like I didn't make as much progress as other months, but I really don't have like that much product left. There's that much left. So I feel like, I know last month I said this was probably like another month's worth, like from up there where it was. But I feel like this might last me until possibly November looking at it now and how much I've used, but this is less than me a while, I feel like, for a sample. Then for lip gloss, I chose Elf One and Michael, and it's like a dark gloss. It's like a... that color there. It's almost like a berry type of gloss. Then I'm carrying over my Ofra lip liner in silk. It's like a nice neutral color. Which there it is there. And then last I have this mellow matte liquid liquid lip paint that I want to use. So I threw this in there too, even though I know I'm gonna be working on this most of the month. But I figured I have like a backup if I want to use a different lipstick or day. And this one goes good with the Ofra lip liner. That's the color there. So these are all of the products in my bag that I'm going to be using for September and like I said I do want to get better about my project hand items and marking them because I feel like there's just products I just want to work on and then just get rid of them so that is everything for this video if you want to check out previous months uh, if you want to check out previous monthly makeup bags there's a playlist and I will see you guys soon in my next video bye